Okay guys, welcome back. In this playlist, we are going to be learning all about emails, sending emails in iOS Swift. So in this episode, we're gonna be using Apple's built-in, it's called MF Mail Compose View Controller. In our second video, we're gonna be using Mail Core 2 for sending SMTP emails. We have a lot more control over that email, but it's harder to set up, especially if you have users who need to be setting up their own accounts. And then for the third video, we're gonna be doing IMAP with MailCore. So that's receiving emails. And along the way, I would highly recommend if you're gonna be doing the Mail Core 2, the SMTP and the IMAP, I highly recommend that you click the playlist and watch from the playlist because I'm also going to make a separate video of maybe installing dependencies um, and also how to use Objective-C headers. So you're gonna miss stuff if you don't follow that playlist. In this episode, we're gonna be using Apple's built-in. It's called MF Mail, and there's some limitations on it. So as you can see here, we have the documentation, and this is what it looks like. So basically what will happen is you'll click like a send button. So you have a send button and this will pop up. Now this is Apple's, uh, it's it's basically property of Apple. You're, once this has showed, you're not allowed to do anything with it. You can't update the message, you can't do anything once this is shown. You can, ahead of time, you can set the to address, you can set the preferred, uh, it doesn't have it here, but from message. So what preferred means is if the user has that account as a account in their mail app, they'll be able to send from there. Then you can set the subject and you can set the body. Another thing that you can do is you can attach files. So for example, you can attach a JPEG or a PNG or even a video. Um, but yeah, so the, so the limitations are you can't edit anything. And there's one more limitation, which is this is probably pretty niche that you're not going to run into. But as you can see, when you have images, and I think it's like over something like 380 kilobytes, so not very much, it's gonna to ask to downscale the image and you can't prevent this. And if you click uh, any of these options except for actual size, it's gonna downscale it and it's gonna strip out any metadata. So if that's important to you uh, that you get metadata out of the fo photos, I was working on a project, freelance project, and one of the specifications was that. So this was not a viable option. But if you're okay with uh, Apple showing this, and them having to click send and not having any control once you show this, then MF Mail Compose is a good option. I guess one more limitation is the user has to have an account, a mail account set up in the iPhone. Okay, so for example, I don't even know if we have it here. Yeah, we don't, but you see this app, mail right there? Uh, they must have a user set up in that app. And as well as you can't test it on the simulator because you can't have mail, you can't sign into mail accounts on the simulator. So you need a physical device to test this, although it is very easy. So let's get started. I'm gonna be creating a new Xcode project, okay? So iOS app, and we're gonna call this, let's call this Swift email tutorial. So this all looks correct. So continue, next, then create. Now, the very first thing we're gonna be doing is we're going to be going into info, we're gonna delete the main storyboard there. Then under application scene manifest, we're gonna delete the main storyboard as well, and then delete the actual storyboard. Move to trash. Now we're going to go into scene delegate. I'm going to use my code completion. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the view controller. I'm going to say self dot view dot background color equals dot system blue. I'm going to create a new folder called supporting. And throw everything except the view controller and the info plist in there. 
Now I'm actually gonna change this view controller's name to mail compose controller. So we're gonna run that and it failed. Cannot find view controller. So may in the scene delegate mail compose controller. Oops, and we need to select our simulator. And we have the blue background, so deleting the main storyboard and the scene de delegate code worked. So as I said before, you need a mail account in your iPhone. And this won't actually work with the simulator, so I'm not sure why I pulled up the simulator. But you need an Apple Mail account in your iPhone. So instead of wasting time making a bunch of like text fields and stuff, what we're just gonna do is we're just gonna say let email subject equals my email title. Then we're gonna do let email body equals hello. This is my email backslash n backslash n. It is multi line. Then we can just do another one, two, three from Cobra. So you can just write whatever you want there. And then we're gonna say, so I'm just gonna be emailing myself. So I'm going to use an old email that I don't use anymore. So let two emails equals, and this needs to be an array. So you're gonna make an array and then the string of the emails that you want, because obviously you can send two multiple emails. And then we're gonna say let from email equals, and I'm just gonna do that same email. So we're just gonna be sending to ourselves. Now I am going to be adding some photos to demonstrate how you would do this. Um, you guys can find your own photos. So now that I have added my two photos under, it's called one and two, I'm going to say let images <clears throat> colon UI images equals, and actually I'm gonna move this up. So UI image named one, I'm gonna force on wrap, and then two, okay? So we are going to come below the view to load. We're gonna say private funk show mail composer. This is going to be, I'm just going to open it like this. I usually wouldn't do this, but there's quite a few variables. So let subject string or not let underscore subject string underscore body string. And I'm just gonna actually copy and paste this a bunch because so we got subject body two emails is going to be a string array. We're gonna do from email, just a normal string. And then we're gonna say images and an array of images. Okay, cool. So now in our view to load, we're just gonna call that. So we're gonna say self.show mail composer subject, email subject, um, email body, two emails from email images, okay? Now, if a user has not set up an email account, this won't work. So we need to do a check before we try to show anything. So we're gonna say guard MF mail, or actually, sorry, come up to the top and we're gonna import messages UI or message UI. Now we're gonna come back down to show mail composer. We're gonna say guard MF mail compose view controller dot can send mail, okay? Else, let's just print um, can send mail failure and then return, okay? So if we can't send mail, we'll return. We need to make our composer. So we're actually just gonna copy this MF mail compose view controller. We're gonna say let composer equals that we're gonna say composer dot mail compose delegate equals self. Okay, we're gonna build it and it's gonna complain at us. So we're going to add missing conformance to this MF mail compose view controller delegate. And then we're gonna say composer dot set subject 
And with the subject that we passed in, we're gonna then say composer dot set message body. Body is HTML, false. So you can obviously send HTML here. Composer dot set to recipients. And as you can see, it takes in a string. So we're gonna pass two emails. Composer, composer dot set preferred sending email address and from email. Now it's only gonna be able to use that email if it is saved in the mail accounts, if you have that set up. Now we're gonna do the images. So we're gonna say for image and images, we're gonna, first we need to make a file name. So what I have just been doing is let file name equals int.random in range zero dot 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 and I just do 50,000 or 500,000, whatever that is. And then I do dot description to turn it into a string. And then I say plus dot JPEG. We're gonna say composer dot add attachment data. So as you can see, this takes in data. It doesn't take in a UI image or anything like that. It takes in data. So we need to convert that image to data. So we're gonna say let image data equals image dot jpeg data compression quality I'm just gonna keep it one and then we're gonna force unwrap that now let's go back to composer dot add attachment data we're gonna pass in that image data now the mime type if you haven't seen this before it's gonna be image dot jpg not jpeg but jpg otherwise i believe it won't work and then we're gonna pass in the file name so if you want to do a PNG, you do image slash PNG, I believe. You can search up uh, MIME types online and find the one for PNG. But then you'd also want to make this .png as well, this file name. But we're going to leave it as JPEG. Now that is going to go through and add all the images. So all we have to do now is present the composer animated nil and completion nil or animated as true. Now we do have to do one more thing. We're gonna do mail compose controller and this did finish with result, this one, it's the only one. We're gonna say if let error equals error, we're gonna print did finish with error and we're gonna say error and then we're gonna do controller dot dismiss animated true completion nil then we're gonna we're gonna return if there was an error and then otherwise we're just gonna say controller dot dismiss which to be honest um i guess you don't even really need this you just delete that and if there's an error just print the error so now we need to run our project and as you can see this pops up it grabs the email. I have other emails and I don't want to click on this to show my other emails, but otherwise there's an email that would come first that it would choose. So that worked correctly. The from email worked correctly. The title worked correctly. The name and the images as well worked correctly. So now if we click this say send button up here, it will send the email. And as you can see, we get this image uh, thing. I'm actually going to downscale it so it doesn't take long. And now I should be getting an email from my Gmail any minute now. Okay, so I don't have that set up on my phone, but if you take a look, that properly sent. So everything is good. So that is it. We're going to continue on to mail core, which is a little bit more complicated, but you get a little bit more control. Well, a lot more control over everything. So that is all. Uh, please like the video if this helped. Please comment if you have any questions or if you enjoyed the video. And please subscribe if you want more Swift tutorials in the future. So thank you. Bye.